Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is an absolute tournament quarterfinal scheduled for eight minutes plus overtime. Introducing to you, Pat Shangoli <laughs> versus Mason Fowler. Here we go, Mason Fowler, the submission underground open champion. He takes on the adult slayer, Pat Chagoli. Chagoli has really been uh, a story to follow here Fight. in the submission grappling world. He won four matches just to get into the Eddie Bravo Invitational, did well there. They call him the adult slayer for a reason. He's been slaying adults. And he's been slaying them with authority, too. Very aggressive submission hunter, loves the heel hook. And, you know, he moves pretty well. But Mason Fowler, no stranger to the big stage. We've seen him at ADCC multiple times. We've seen him, again, one of the most accomplished grapplers in the sport. But this is all new for Pat Shigoli. Everything's new for Pat Shigoli. He's 16 years old. Yeah, I wonder if he has a driver's license. <laughs> I mean, I know he can't go to a rated R movie. No, I mean, he, he probably has an ASB card. Shigoli trying to, uh, you know, avenge his father's loss, who was beaten by Mason Fowler a couple of years ago. So built-in storyline here. If being a 16-year-old wasn't a storyline enough, now he needs to defend. Look at that. Mason just aggressively changing speed, changing direction, getting around to the north-south position against that open guard work of Shigoli. And now he's clamped down. Yeah, Shigoli moves good for, for a bigger guy, but I mean, Mason, he's, he's built like an athlete. This isn't me taking a shot at neither guy, but when you look at how physical Mason is, he's, he's got a physical presence in there, and he made that pass look effortless. And just the amount of experience that Mason brings to the table. Again, man, Shigoli, he's not just new to grappling. He's new to all of these experiences. You know, he's still a young man, and so this is a big moment for him. But just the experience of Mason Fowler in all kinds of different rule sets on so many different stages. It's already proven to be a real problem here for Shigoli. Fowler, the 2020 UFC Fight Pass Fighter of the Year, which says something too. I mean, you think about all the, the great athletes that compete on, on UFC Fight Pass, but Fowler was able to get that uh, award and, and to do so as a submission grappler, not even a mixed martial arts. Go guys, arts. action, action. Well, you just look at all the, the all the success he had on Submission Underground. I mean, he, he, was, he was the king of that promotion for a very long time. They beat Craig Jones in that rule set twice, yeah. which is unbelievable. Patient hears Fowler in this north-south position. Yeah, not really putting a ton of weight on him either, just keeping the corners covered. So he's, he's on his knees, so he's not driving forward heavy. He does have an isolation over here, maybe thinking about pulling Pat up onto his side, start isolating a Kimura, and I, I do think that's what he's looking for. Yeah, from our vantage point, you couldn't see it on camera, but from where we're sitting, the view we had, he was definitely trying to isolate the arm. And I like that. If you're going against a young kid that's really good with these heel hooks, what's way to t a good way to take advantage of your man's strength versus his his kid strength is isolate a limb. You go you go Kimura. I mean, there's going to be not only is it two two limbs on one, but it's like that's your that's both of your hands against one child's hands. This is a child. I mean, it's safe to say we can call him that. If this is a kid in there. Yeah, and Mason doing a really good job of staying out of any of the places where Pat has shown himself to be dangerous in the past, which is out in these open guard situations, situations where you're trying to stand and pass him. He finds a way to get underneath you in those kind of moments. And Mason bypassing all that by sliding out to this north-south position. Oh, you might have that arm right there. That just shows to the Mason respects what Shigoli's good at. The fact that he's not playing that game, the fact that he's not, he's staying out of the positions that give him any shot to get a, to get a lock on one of his legs. I mean, shows that there's some respect there. And every time that Pat starts to build up and get to his side even a little bit, Mason with this isolation that he has here against the left arm of Shigoli, when Shigoli tries to get up just a little bit, it's gonna expose that limb further and further. Yep. You can see him starting to bury that hand in there. Here's the grip. Oh, he might have it. Let's go. I'm liking the game plan for Mason Fowler right now. Yeah, it's a smart game plan. It's not a high energy game plan, but it's one that can get him through three matches if need be. Absolutely. So that's important to remember. These guys, to win this thing, you've got to come through and take out three different opponents before the night's over. Yeah, that, that makes it an interesting approach is, is do you go balls out for the sub and try to avoid overtime or do you 
do you get comfortable with conserving energy and potentially having to go the distance? It's 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 a very interesting idea of how would you approach something like this? Fowler set up and mount now. Yeah, big position change. He's going to be able to drop his weight way more effectively here. He's already got the arm isolated. He's looking to put him over into this chopping block position, maybe isolate for an arm drop. He's, he's going key lock. Shigoli got to be careful here. He doesn't give the full back exposure or even the arm lock. Mason definitely thinking arm lock. Here's the angle over. change. Trying to step over for this arm bar. Shigoli trying to move with it. Well, he's in big trouble. Have it. Trying to step forward. He might have it. Oh my goodness! Tap, tap, tap. There's the tap! Wow. Right. Pat Shigoli could only hang out for so long before he had to tap. Mason Fowler, <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, I just got hit. Both these guys, are, they have handfuls of Shigoli's hair. <laughs> All right, for the official time of the stoppage, we'll get it. Mason Fowler on his way to the semifinals. Here is Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes, 58 seconds, our referee calls a stop to the match. For your winner, by submission via armbar and advancing to the semifinals, Mason Fowler. Mason Fowler gets his hand raised, a submission over Pat Goalie punches his ticket to the semifinals, and it was a game of patience for the submission underground champion. He knew what he wanted to do, avoided that game of Pat Goalie and the leg locks, and ultimately gets us up. And look at that great angle change. <laughs> Shigoli started going vertical with him, picked Mason up off the ground. But Mason does a great job just following that energy, continuing to pull the isolation out. And you see he was able to keep that elbow line trap. Pat tried to turn every direction. And then once Mason throws the leg over, the posture's controlled, the arm is isolated, and the break is inevitable. Yeah, when he threw his leg over the top, he knew he had the lock tight. But like you said, he controlled the elbow, he controlled that line, and uh, ultimately ended up with a mission so good for mason fowler that's got me already salivating for the semis gaudio and fowler is going to be a tremendous match can't wait to see it later tonight here at the fight pass invitational three